welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. If you're new, be sure to subscribe. Give me a like, and even if you're not new, I mean, even if you're, yeah, if you're not new, be sure to give me a like, it really helps me out. Welcome to another vlog. It is Sunday. I hope you guys are doing well whenever you're watching this. I feel like you'll be watching this probably on Thursday. So I hope you're doing well when you're watching this. And you're probably wondering, what does today have in store for us, folks? Okay, hold on, actually I need to be in the other lane. Yeah. One second, I need to be in this lane. So it is Sunday and I'm meeting my friend at this thing called Unique Markets. I never heard of it, but my friend has been to the one in Portland. Um, it's essentially like a huge market where a bunch of independent sellers, in my mind, I think of it almost as like Etsy, but in person. So a bunch of independent creators and brands come and create so they have like for example ceramics there right someone who's making ceramics they'll have a candle shop there might be even like a dog brand there might be even like a clothing brand it's a bunch of it maybe like snacks and food so it's a bunch of independent uh small businesses that kind of should come i know there's i know that there's jewelry too i'll tell you i'll explain why but that come together in this market it sounded like a full pussy yes if you don't know what, what full pussy yes is by the way in a lot of my courses especially ones that are focused on feminine embodiment we talk about decision making through your body and not and using your body to make decisions instead of just just your mind right because your body is connected with your intuition your body is the physical manifestation of the subconscious that's why it's very like the conscious would be the mind, right? You're taking like right now. If I if I consciously think about a banana, like right now I said banana, and you did consciously thought about a banana. But right now, even as you and I are here, as you're watching this, I'm driving. Right now, we have underneath our conscious mind a bunch of subconscious beliefs. Right now, you're holding beliefs about what's possible today. You're probably holding beliefs about what your worth is. You're holding beliefs about how much money you can make. Like, un uh, under what we're consciously thinking about, we have subconscious thoughts. And so when we access our body, and especially when we do a lot of healing work on our body, I almost got deep really quick, but oftentimes, right, if you've ever heard, read the book, it's a really great like introduction to this work. It's called The Body Keeps Score, which talks about how trauma is stored in the body. So memories essentially are stored in the body. It doesn't necessarily need to be trauma, but if we have a lot of memories in our body that don't serve our highest good, so for example, we've internalized belief systems, structures, and paradigms that don't serve our highest good, and then that's in our body, it becomes really hard to make decisions. That's why it's really important to clear the body and work physically so that you are able to get clear signals. So what I mean by that is if you're holding on to anger and sadness and resentment, your body isn't going to be able to give you the clearest cues, right? Because it's 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 like murky waters, right? You want to clear out those things. Just like if, for example, an easy example I can explain is like if you're sad, it's probably not the best time to make a decision, right? If you're angry, it's probably not the best time to make a decision. It's the same thing. It's like you want to have the emotional body be purified as much as possible, right? And cleanse so that you're able to make the clearest decisions. And when you do a lot of inner work to connect back to your body, because a lot of us through different experiences disassociate from the body. Like we literally almost like it's like the body that the body and the mind are like two separate beings for a lot of people. And especially when you go through intense experiences or you're stressed, it's the most common where we don't want to feel the discomfort that's in our body because our body's signaling to us like you're stressed you're stressed bitch or like this person's not for you or like this I don't like this but we want to override it with logic so reconnecting with the body is super powerful that's what a lot of feminine work is around and that's what uh, I focus on quite a bit in my course the feminine awaken it's an instant access course so meaning if you download it, if you purchase it today, you'll get access to the entire course right away, which I love having options like that. Um, but basically, a full pussy ass means like you feel, it's like a sacral response. Like someone invites you to something and you're like, you know you have to go or you see something and you know you need to be there. Like it's this like primal raw response. And that's literally what I felt about this market. She invited me and I was like, I have to go to this. Like I need to go. So it's Sunday and I'm going, I didn't charge my vlogging camera battery. So that's really lovely. Um, but if it, so if it stops recording at any point, it's okay because I have my phone so I will vlog and it's easier for me anyway it's hard for me when I'm out with my friends as well like to hold my bag my phone and then also hold my um sorry I need to get oh, go in front of this car it's hard for me to hold my bag my phone and my vlogging camera it's just like really overwhelming um yeah I really want to I, I, one of the things I asked for for Christmas is kind of like 
a larger bag because I want like especially when I'm out with Mia too like it's like literally being a mom like I know I want to bring her like bowl and her water and like treats or snacks just in case and then I want to bring like um like a vlogging camera and like you know what I mean I just like want, I always like I want to bring water for myself like it's a whole thing and so I feel like recently it's been so hard for me to have like all my stuff especially if I have Mia like you can imagine if it's just me and I'm having my, my bag and I have Mia on a leash and then like if I'm holding my phone, and even if my phone's in my bag, but I'm trying to hold my phone, and then my vlogging camera, it's just like I have all this, all these tools. Um, so yeah, also just like a little funny story, hopefully it won't shut off. When I first moved to LA, I lived downtown, um, which is so wild for like years, and I lived like in the, the super nice part of downtown. Now it's really, really built up, but back then it was, it was kind of built up in a particular area. I'm not gonna say exactly where I live, I don't know, just for safety, but like, it's just like I have so many memories downtown. Like, that's when all, like, Ollie and I would always like hang out there. I'd go to cycle there. Like, I went to so many like parties there. Like, I don't know, it just, I had like a whole era, like three, yeah, like three or four years, three years of my life down there. So it's just like, I have all these like, it's literally like this reality bubble there. And it's such a different version of myself. It was like me when I was, you guys remember I vlogged, I was like 18, 19, and 20, I lived there. And, Oh my gosh, it's wild. I was wild, not like, not in a bad way, but I was just like, I mean, I was traveling all the time for like different YouTube events. I was going to like YouTube, like I was going to different PR events every week pretty much. And I was staying out late. I was in school. I'd wake up at like 5 a.m. to go to class. Like I was like doing school. It was crazy. I was like a legend, honestly. Like I was like going to school, taking all my classes, waking up early, driving to class, doing all my homework, traveling all the time, going to like multiple PR events every week, hanging out with friends like every night, but still doing all my schoolwork. It was crazy. And I was vlogging and filming and doing like, like work and brand deals and stuff. Wild times. It was, it was when I look back and I think, was it stressful? It's, it's funny because I would say no, but because my body was used to it. I was like so overloaded i was very disconnected i would say from my like higher self and not to say my higher self but like i wasn't like i was like grounded but i also was like a teenager you know and, and in my early 20s like 18 through 21 i feel like it's very i don't know especially when you're a gemini you really think you're that bitch and then life life humbles you and you're like i need to i then you have a spiritual awakening and you're like got it i now i've integrated those lessons just some, just some reflections. It's also rain. It's been it was raining earlier. Me and I got soaked. Like literally, that's why my hair is wet. Like torrential downpour soaked. She has, she has like a little sweater we usually wear when it's raining, but I didn't even realize it was going to be raining. And then we were outside. So anyway, I'm excited to go to these unique markets. I'll vlog. I'm, I'll vlog on my phone. and It'll be inserted uh, in here. And if I get if I pick anything up, then I'll let you know. What's on my radar, I guess, is I would love a candle, but I'm very sensitive to fragrance. The more pure I've purified my life like in terms of diet and everything the more sensitive I am to stuff so uh yeah just like I don't really I'm pretty sensitive to fragrance so I'd love like a really clean non-carcinogenic candle with like essential oil but then even I'm like I don't like I said one of the best quality essential oils if you're into them is from living libations they are an investment but because they're literally she has like writes about how they're sourced and the very in-depth stories about how they use the highest quality everything and etc i have a cat and a dog so a lot of things are toxic to cats or to dogs but when you have both a lot of essential oils are toxic to them especially some of my favorite ones like minty ones are toxic and those are some of my favorite scents like i know lavender isn't so i get like a lavender candle but i'd love like a very clean candle um if I found like the perfect ceramic mugs, I'd love to get like two really cool, unique coffee mugs. Like I have to really have to be a full pussy yes again. That's like how I buy things. Like I have to love it. Um, what else? If I saw, I'm like pretty picky about jewelry to be completely honest. Um, if I saw something like cute clothing, maybe, but again, I have to like love it. But the biggest things I would say is candle and ceramics. Oh, I also need a key, new keychain. So it depends like, again, I have to be a full pussy yes for me. So we'll see how that goes. So that's my update. Um, the, the samples, right? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Chloe! 
hello 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 we just got done at the market I it was really really nice it was super cool um I picked up two things and then I got a third thing that the oh, hold on a second I'm just gonna put them in the address I picked up a candle so I, I told you I was candles and ceramics was really what was on my mind um, I got a candle that I love I'll show you it smells so good there were a, a few people that had candle shops and there was one guy who I need to actually ask my friend she took a picture and took his business card who had these amazing candles that were like non carcinogenic the wick was lead free uh, the fragrance was from essential oil like it was checking all my boxes and I didn't buy from him because I already bought a different candle from someone else, which I love. Like, I'm going to show it to you, and I literally would buy, like, her other ones. I just, like, I loved them. I, was, I wanted to buy, like, three, but I was like, stay, stay calm, Paulina. Like, you don't need to get three candles. Um, they're, they're, they're clean candles, so definitely they're a little bit more, I feel like, than average. But I'll show, I'll show you the candles. And then I got a chocolate bar, and it's not very wild very not really wildly exciting um and then i got this other candy like a clean candy i met the it's like a michelin star chef and some other guy who started it and then i found a ceramic woman who i liked a lot of her stuff and i wanted one of her things in the mugs but the design was different on like the plates than the mugs she was really great i'll put her in for, i'll like shout her out she was very sweet um it was like these like sexy beautiful like naked women like abstract drawings it was very like it was like erotic art but like very beautiful and i really liked them but i just like she hand draws it all and so the mugs i didn't love like the design that was on the mugs versus like the plates and stuff but it was really really cool uh, after we went and got a coffee there was like i didn't eat much this morning and so then like there i had food but it was just like it was like an empanada and like it's just so random or like not even it wasn't that it was like i don't even know what it was called it was like like a pasty like a like a, a pasty i guess i would say i got two of them with like tofu and then after we just got coffee so i've had just like the not the best like blend of food today and i'm really hungry but it was really really fun i was i can't believe it's been like four hours i've been here for a while well we were here and then we went and got coffee at verve we're down it was, this is downtown in downtown la by the way and now I'm headed back. I'll show you the candle. I'll show, show it to you now. Actually, I'll just show it to you when I get home because I need to focus on driving. But it smells so good. It reminds me of like the anthropology candle, but it's I feel like it smells even better. And the girl, the owner of it, was so sweet. She was one of the main reasons I wanted to buy from them. It just shows you the importance of like the person who you're buying from because there are people whose products I like, but if like the person wasn't giving me vibes, I feel like it's off putting. So I feel like it's just really important as a business owner especially if it's very front facing oh my gosh to to really to really form a connection and be you know passionate about your product okay I'm about to pull out so with my little thingy so i'll see you soon okay so this is the brand of candle that i got i really loved her stuff genuinely first of all she was so sweet and her st candles smell amazing I smelled a few that I really liked. I really liked her coffee one. I think it's called Cape. It was a bit strong, but it was really, really nice. Um, she, she had another one that smelled kind of woodsy, I believe. She just had really beautiful scents and such amazing packaging. These are also made from sugar cane, she was saying, these labels. So after you're done, you can wipe, use it with like rubbing alcohol and these will wipe off, apparently. She also has a smaller size and they're in these beautiful copper jars. So she just had... I loved her brand, I loved her scents, I loved her energy, I really, like, it really resonated with me. This is the Revitalize one, and it really reminds me of that Anthropology classic smell, and I love this wick. It has this, like, wide, wide wick. It's just so beautiful, so I'm setting it up, and I'm burning it right here. It came with a lid as well. Such a really cute gift idea, like, I don't know, I would really love get if I got this. This is the chocolate bar I got. It's really, really good. It's from this brand, Udalali. I like the two guys' energy that were there. I don't know if they're the owners or what it was, but I just, they made it with like um, Filipino cacao, I believe. I might be so wrong. Yeah, Filip Philippine cacao, and they had a really cool story. So I got this, and it's really, really delicious. Not so 
a not so like wild things I got these from Amazon. I really love these. What they are, whenever I get facials, not always, but I love when they use these on me to remove the makeup. They're just these little sponges. Well, first of all, it's really great for people who are estheticians because you can just throw them away after you use them. But if you are using them for yourself, one of these lasts like, I don't know, like 20 uses. I feel like, like for me, they last really long and there's 50 of them. So I feel like you'd literally, you'd have these for like, I don't at least a year. Um, if you're gentle with them, like I just, you really use it to take off your makeup. They look like this when it's wet, not wet. It looks tiny. It's like literally so thin. And then when you wet it, it gets fluffy. So you can see. And it's so funny because at Detox Market, they sell like four of these. Like literally four little ones for like $6. On Amazon, this pack of like 50 was like 10. And I'm like, I swear I've got, I swear I've seen them on Amazon before. So I got the bigger pack. Um, and it's just really nice, like, they, at, when you get a facial, they use two and they like simultaneously wipe, but you just put your cleanser on and it just like gets a, it's like not super intense like a, like a clarisonic or something. Also, why do they discontinue those? Does anyone know why those are gone? But it gets off your makeup and it's just really nice. I really like this. Also, I got some Mighty Patches. My skin's been breaking out a little bit. I'm taking my probiotics again and I think that that will really help. But I just, I feel like, I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really bad. I always want to pick my face. It's like a habit I'm breaking at the moment. It should have firm. Um, it comes with the patches. But apparently a lot of people were saying that, on, I went on Reddit, I was like, what do other people do? They were saying that by having like a patch on, it signals to your mind like, oh, it's taken care of because we want to pick because we want to get rid of it essentially. Like, we want to pick because we're like, we want to remove whatever it is that's on our face, right? And it actually makes it worse, so it's kind of like counterintuitive in a way, in a way. Um, but by having the patch on, you touch it, and you're like, oh, it's taken care of. So I just got that. That's um, the package literally just, you know, arrived recently. So that's that. I'm really tired. I'm in my lounge set, as you can see. I'm going to have some water because I feel dehydrated. I'm really tired. Um, <laughs> it's been a, it was a long day because I was out for like so many hours and driving downtown and back. It was a lot. I'm going to watch the White Lotus finale tonight. Comment down below if you're also a White Lotus fan. I love it. I'm so excited. And yeah, maybe I'll love it later, but if not, thank you guys for watching today's vlog. I'll have links, by the way. My three month money mastermind, Let's Get You Rich, is starting so soon. So be sure to get inside if you're interested in my work. It's one that's gonna be a super powerful mastermind. Also, on Thursday, December 15th, 13, 14, 15, wait, 13, 14. Yeah, 15th is going to be an Activate 2023 ceremony. It's probably today when you're watching this. So be sure to join Divinity if you want to get access to come live or catch the recording. You'll get that either way through Divinity. So I hope to see you inside those offerings. And of course, same as usual, lift your frequency orders. We'll continue shipping as soon as you, when you place your orders, it's going to come sooner, obviously. So you probably don't want to like wait a few days, but those four days can make the difference of like a week of your order coming. So definitely place your order when you get a chance. Um, all right, goodbye.